Hello and welcome to my channel. My name's Emma and I've got some good news. I'm getting married tomorrow. <laughs> so by the time this video is up, I imagine I will already already be married. I just, it's going to take some time to edit and upload the video. However, Today, I will be creating a wedding dress for my goose statue so that she can match with me. My goose's name is Honk Hill. Oh. And she's gonna look gorgeous. Let's get started. Here are the materials I'll be using to make the dress as well as the goose. Here's an elastic band that's an inch wide, a roll of tulle, or a spool of tulle. So here I'm just undoing some of the rolls so you can see how the fabric looks. It's basically like netting. Velcro with a sticky back, hot glue, and a hot glue gun. It's a sassy pose. Ruler measuring tape for fabric, scissors, marker, and then we're all good to go. Now, to make this tutu for my goose, I am using a tutorial from the Ribbon Retreat. There's a lovely woman named Shirley who teaches you how to make a tutu for a toddler. So I'm using that because my goose is about the size of a toddler. So in the meantime, I have made a little veil for my goose with some spare ribbon. I folded um, some more tulle up. It was the same length as all the rest of my pieces. So they're all uh, 20 inches in length and six inches in width. Ain't that cute? So here I'm just taking my elastic that I cut to about the length I wanted and I'm attaching some sticky velcro onto the ends. So there's the first piece of sticky velcro, show it to the camera and then I'm just going to make sure that it will fit just right. On the other end of the elastic, you want the sticky Velcro to be on the opposite side of your first piece so that when you wrap it around, they will connect properly, going one on top of the other, and we'll try one more time to secure the Velcro. So that's about where I want the tutu to sit. Look at that! Sitting about perfect. So now I'm just measuring the tail feathers on my goose. So from the elastic to the end, just to make sure the tutu will fit properly and it looks good. So when I fold the tool in half, like I have to do to make the skirt, the tool will be about nine inches in length. And here is a shot of our pieces. I made so many, I didn't want to film all of it. And here I've gone ahead and put my elastic around a hanger just as the video from the ribbon retreat recommends. It really makes it easier to work with the elastic. And I did this off camera. It comes into the frame better next time. But um, right now I'm taking a piece of my tool and I'm folding it once lengthwise. And you have to match up the edges. 
and then you have to fold it down onto itself. Just making sure everything is right. And then you kind of grab it, bunch it up at the top, wrap your tool around the elastic, and then you take the little loop at the top and put your bottom of your tool through the top loop that you've made and pull it through, making sure it's nice and secure and it won't come loose. So this time I'm taking my third piece of tool and you can see better how I'm folding it lengthwise first, matching up those edges. And then I fold the tool down onto itself, take it the top, bunch it up and put it underneath the elastic pulling the bottom through the top loop and tightening it. So after this, I'll go ahead and do a time lapse. Beautiful. By this point, I realized that the sticky on the back of my Velcro wasn't quite strong enough, so I decided to hot glue my Velcro pieces onto the elastic, so that way they would have a much stronger hold. And I, you can use a sewing machine if you want to make a skirt like this, but I do not have one, so really the hot glue gun worked just fine for me. This time, I realized that I actually just wanted to make half a skirt rather than a full skirt. So the skirt that I made actually just accentuates my goose's tail feathers and it's really cute. So here's the final result. All right, now it's time for the fitting of Ms. Goose. We've got our little tutu. We'll put it around the back. Velcro it. And there we go. We've got her fluffy little tutu in the back. And we've got her veil up front secured with a beautiful pink bow. And there we have it. I will take some pictures together with Hawk Hill the Goose and we'll be twinning. <laughs> Not quite, because my wedding dress doesn't have a tool, but we'll still be in the same theme together. All right, well, I want to thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting my gorgeous goose and have a great day.